Uh, good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It is a uh, pleasure to be here today as uh, chief guest at this uh, reopening ceremony. Today, we are re uh, reviving one of Fiji's most historic and uh, treasured uh, facilities, the Victoria Tennis and uh, Squash Courts. These courts were built, uh, as you've heard, 36 years ago. Not so long ago in the uh, great scheme of things, but they have packed a lot of living in that time. Uh, this facility, I understand, received its last makeover in 2003 for the South Pacific Games when it was the site of some very spirited competition and some fine displays of uh, athleticism. Fiji won uh, 177 medals in those games, but not, not on these courts. So it brings me great joy to see that 12 years later we are able to present you all with a completely renovated and up-to-date facility as part of my government's initiative to create modern infrastructure throughout the country and uh, that serves the needs of the people. All around Fiji, we are developing and improving infrastructure to improve the quality of life of every Fijian, including this high uh, standard facility you have in front of you today. We can do this because our economy is strong and it is growing, which allows us to reinvest in our people. So this robust economy that we have does not just create jobs and business opportunities, it generates the revenue we need to build a better Fiji. The investment in front of you uh, today is worth, uh, I understand, $238,000. And the Fiji Sports Council has used these funds to make this sports facility a place where everyone will be proud to play. We've uh, installed new artificial turf surfaces on all five uh, tennis courts and given a facelift to these very popular squash courts. Now I can personally uh, say personally that I'm an uh, avid tennis or squash player as I always have an interest in rugby, but I can say that I appreciate the importance of athletic activity in our daily lives. For what it does for us physically, and what it teaches us about life. As Fijians, sports are a large part of our identity and a major source of our national pride. But sports and athletic activity play an even more important role in keeping us moving and keeping us healthy. One of my government's uh, major priorities has been creating a healthier Fiji. That means encouraging healthier lifestyles as there are many steps we we can take to improve our health before stepping into the doctor's office and many things we can do to make sure we visit the doctor's office less frequently. An athletic facility such as the one being reopened today provide opportunity to get one other to get out of the house, get moving and make ourselves an even healthier people. <coughs> Excuse me. This push by my government is not only limited to sewer. I'm delighted to report that uh, the Fiji Sports Council Singatoko facility in Lawanga Park has received, uh, received nearly $2.1 million in redevelopment works. This uh, sizable investment is an immense achievement for Fiji's sporting industry and will bring enormous opportunities for sports and fitness to the region. At the National Fitness Center in Lodala Bay, Christmas has come early uh, with the arrival of 30 new cardio machines this week. This was funded from a $100,000 commitment by government to take proactive steps in building a healthy Fiji by giving people the equipment they need to live more energetic lifestyles. In the West, we are contributing over $2.8 million through next year's budget for the redevelopment of Churchill Park, which will include an all-weather track. Also in Lutoka, we'll be commencing work on the construction of a botanical garden swimming pool that will be open to the public for recreational activities. And in Ba, you will have heard government has contributed 203,000 uh, for the construction of the Ba multipurpose sports complex, which will now include an upgraded horse racetrack. If you have a horse uh, you think you can run, please take it down to the Ba horse track. As we approach the end of this year, uh, rest assured that all of our efforts to build a healthier society will continue into 2006 because this job will not be done 
until every Fijian, as I continue to say, every Fijian has access to the same opportunities to engage in a healthy lifestyle. While I'm here today, ladies and gentlemen, I also want to take some time to discuss another issue that relates uh, directly to the health of our nation, the prevention of domestic violence and sexual assault. We must have a national conversation about this very serious problem, and I will insist that we have that conversation as a people. I will now be taking every available opportunity that I have to condemn domestic violence and sexual assault, because as I said before, this is an issue that I care about very deeply. It affects our character as a people, and we need to take a close look at ourselves and ask if we can respect ourselves as a people and a culture if we allow this scourge to continue. In Fiji, we must protect our most vulnerable groups. We cannot allow the women, children, elderly and infirm of this country to be abused or exploited. Our laws severely punish those who have been found guilty of such offenses, but the unfortunate reality is that many cases of domestic violence and sexual assault do not make it to the courts. This is a crime that thrives on intimidation and secrecy, and the law alone is not always far-reaching enough to eradicate it. So I'm speaking out because domestic violence must be shamed. That is how we will eradicate it. When a man who abuses his family is uh, ashamed to show his face in his village, in his workplace, or on the streets of the city. Because by tolerating such actions, we condone them. And there is never an excuse to permit domestic violence or sexual assault. Ladies and gentlemen, there are certainly more ways we can better our society and communities and more improvements on the horizon. But today, let us celebrate the new and improved Victoria Tennis and Squash Courts. I look uh, forward to seeing the benefits that these new courts will bring, and I encourage all of you to use this new infrastructure to lead even healthier lives. Thank you all for coming. Thank you for your attention. And without further ado, I declare the Victoria Tennis and Squash Courts reopened. We now go Naga, God bless everyone. Thank you. Oh, hey, how are you? Hey, what's this? You're going to serve and I'm going to try and return. Oh. You just serve. Is this, a, is this a professional one or I think so. is it a cheap one? Hey. You're, not, you're not cheating me. <laughs> no, I'm not cheating. You want to serve from here to that side? Okay. okay, let me just go to the other position. Hey. I've got to have a feel of this first, man. Huh? Just whack it off the bench. <laughs> Where are you supposed to go? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> 